Oh my gosh, Betty gone, y'all. Have y'all seen Betty? She gone, y'all. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all that tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my new song, At Your Place, is coming out on November 15th, so make sure you pre-save it. Link in the description and probably the pinned comment and everywhere else on my social medias. So make sure to do that. Send me a screenshot of you pre-saving and I'm gonna follow you. And while you're at it, check out the merch at outfits.art so you can be styling in my shit. You know how it is. But now that that self-promo is out of the way, Betty is gone. A whole search party looking for her. We gotta find her. Let's get into it. Like the video if you wanna help us find Betty. I know, a couple months ago, you would've told me Betty gone, I would've been like, good. But I think I have a soft spot for Betty now. I can't believe it, but I think I do. Summer Fever, season three, story by Lucas, chapter 45, private property. Is Betty on some private property or something? I have the drinks you asked for, Mr. Parker. Thank you, young man. You can serve them on the desk. Zachariah, Summer, go ahead and get one. No. Thanks, man. No problem. What? They're being nice to each other now? And don't worry, we don't always drink when we're working. Not judging. I would also like to get drunk if I had to sit behind a desk and wear a suit all day. And then they laugh? What? The, the, they're laughing together? Are they friends now? Grab a drink, Summer. What is going on? We are having a drink? No, I'm talking about these two. I thought you two hated each other. That was months ago and in a very different setting. I actually realized that Byron is an incredible employee. Yeah, and I just came back. It's a new start for me. Anyways, I should go back to the bar. This is so interesting how things change. Byron and Zach are being friendly to each other. They used to fight about me and it looks like they're better when I'm not around. I just hope I won't start another war between them. Girl, I think they might be over you. <laughs> not to be rude, but you took too long. It's almost four. I should get ready for Lee's opening. She did not sleep, did she? Bruh. Okay, what do I wanna wear to Lee's opening? Let's see. Pastel, that's cute. That's also fancy. Like professional. Wow. Now that, I feel like Lee would like that for me to wear. Oh, that's really cute. Actually, the second one was more like taking away the spotlight from him, for him, from him, I can't talk. So I wanna wear this one. This one's cute, it's not too much. It's his thing, not mine. Let me put some gloss on. Boom, just some, you know, quick pink gloss and we are ready to go. Quick blink. Oh, I can't say that five times fast. Quick pink gloss and I'm ready to go. Okay, thank you all so much for coming to the grand opening of Lee's Beauty Salon and Spa. I've been dreaming of this moment for years and today the dream comes true. We offer many incredible beauty and spa treatments. I'm sure you will love it here. So let's raise our glasses and have a drink together. And don't worry if alcohol affects your skin. We have a lemon tea tree and clay treatment for that. He's so funny, love him. Enjoy and book your appointments. Ah, we love him. I hope you already made your appointments because we're booked for the next three months. Three months? Please, I booked mine first. And I was second. Oh, I didn't expect any less from you. What do you think of the place? It looks amazing. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. All right, I have to mingle with the guests. I'm trying to get a few more sponsors. I see that. Go ahead. And again, congratulations. Love him. I'm glad he's doing his dreams. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you this. How did your meeting go with Mr. Parker? Right, you won't believe it. Raymond Parker wanted to see me because the hotel was losing customers at the spa. Obviously, he linked it to Lee's opening, which is ridiculous. And his natural response was to ask me if he could threaten Lee. What? This is absurd. It's not Lee's fault. What did you say? Basically, I told him not to mess with me or my friends. Zach was on my side too. So Parker dropped it. Good, but... How did he even come up with the idea? But now that I think about it, that does explain why his son is the way he is. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a few days. Well, that's good. I wish I could never see him again. He's a creep. 
Hey! Oh, hey there, ladies. I recognized you from the hotel. Hi. Yeah, I think I vaguely remember you too. We had a great talk around the pool last summer. Isn't it great that Lee started his own salon and spa? He's the best. I love him. I was out of Lucky Shores for a while. I missed him. And I really missed the sun. Oh, where'd you go? I was in Los Angeles. Um, isn't the weather mostly sunny in Los Angeles? Exactly. It's only mostly sunny. Sometimes it was cloudy. I couldn't even work on my tan. What a nightmare. Thank God I came back in time to book an appointment for a tanning session. I won't go back to the hotel spa anymore. The salon is the place to be. Yeah, that's true. All right, see you around, sexies. Oh, shoot. Well, maybe Lee really unintentionally stole most of the hotel's customers. You know what? Good for him. I also won't go to the spa there anymore. Period. She don't care. She don't care that the hotel is plummeting. Okay, period. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything to harm our friend's success. Any news about the weapon we found? Yes, we ran the serial number and tied it to someone at the Powell Tower. <gasps> really? You found the owner of the weapon? Who is it? Malcolm. You won't believe it. It's Malcolm. It's gotta be Malcolm's gun. And now she's gonna turn on Malcolm even though Malcolm wasn't the one who shot, probably. Hey there, I heard Lee open his spa today. How was it? Hey, it was great. He worked hard for this. I'm really happy for him. I'll pay him a visit whenever I can. That would make him very happy. Byron, while you're here, can I ask you a question? Uh-oh, ask away, but I'll only answer if I like the question. <laughs> okay, well, I, I noticed something earlier today. You and Zachariah Wright, you look very friendly to each other. Are you two friends now? Did I miss something? <laughs> friends? No, we're definitely not friends. We just decided to put the past behind us and not to hate each other anymore. Oh, so you agreed on that? No, but I guess this is what it feels like to me. So you could become friends. What's with all the questions, Summer? Are you jealous of Zachariah and I? <laughs> no, I'm just surprised. You two didn't get along before I left. Yeah, I know, maybe people do change. And speaking of that, can I also ask you a question? Uh-oh. Ask the question and I shall answer if I want to. <laughs> right, that's how it works. Well, we never really talked about the issues we had before I left. So I wanted to know, are we good now? Oh, uh, um, yes, of course we're good. Good? Okay, well, well that's good then. Yeah, all good. All right, uh, would you like something for dessert? Something for dessert. Oh, no thanks, I'm full, or you? Would you be too much, y'all? I'ma try it, and if, this this is how we'll know if he likes me or not. If he laughs, he, he, he entertains it. But if he's like, what? Then he ain't fucking with me no more. So, you? I would gladly have you. Uh, Summer, keep it together. I know he's hot and all, but I should regain his trust first. Summer? You? I mean, no. I'm good, thanks. Okay, see you around then. Ah, they wouldn't even let me say it. I have to stop. I have to stop. Summer is a player player. What the? What are these masks? Who the hell are these people? And why are they wearing masquerade masks? It's probably nothing. I had my share of masks last year. Right. Is that Malcolm? Malcolm. Uh-oh. Detective Bullock, how can I help you? I'm gonna have to ask you to follow me to the police station. What? Detective, what is going on? What are you doing? Summer, please. I would rather do this discreetly. No, I want to know what's happening. Am I under arrest or something? Yes, you are under arrest for attempted murder on James Powell. <gasps> Summer, it's not true. I didn't do this. You have to believe me. Malcolm is under arrest? No, he's innocent. He wouldn't hurt anyone. Or what kind of evidence do you have against him? Miss Bullock, this arrest doesn't make any sense. What kind of evidence do you have against him? Just his weapon that he knew that got stolen? He told us. We found the gun that was used to shoot your dad and it belongs to Malcolm. That gun was stolen three months ago. I never used it. It's true, he told me someone stole it from his locker. But did you report it though? Detective, do you really have to handcuff him? I'm sorry, he never reported a robbery and the evidence is against him. You gotta report that if the shit got stole, bro. Let's go, Malcolm. Summer, I'm innocent, I swear. I'm gonna help you, Malcolm, don't worry. I'll get you out of there. Miss Powell, why are they taking the kid? Max, I'll tell you on the way. I need you to drive me to the police station. Let's go, cause what the, he definitely didn't shoot him. I don't think it was Malcolm. 
Come on, you can't arrest Malcolm. I'm pretty sure it's not him. I hear you, but being pretty sure isn't enough. And the fact that he owns the gun doesn't help at all. I already told you someone stole the gun in his locker. Then why didn't he report the robbery, right? Because he wasn't supposed to have it at work. He was scared. Listen, Summer, sometimes people aren't who we think they are. Remember Jeffrey, Eric, Larry, or Mr. Black? They all played us. This is different, is it? Malcolm has a motive. His father was in jail because of what happened at your father's hotel. But I have been around Malcolm for months. He wouldn't be capable of trying to kill someone. So can I get him out? Can I bail him out? Yes, you could bail him out with $10,000, but he would still be under investigation. All right, this is what I'm gonna do then. And in the meantime, try to find Betty or the person who really did this to my father. Oh, attitude. Excuse me, I would like to bail someone out. How does that work? Can I pay with my card? <laughs> yes, you can post bail in cash or by card. Good, I'll post bail for my friend Malcolm. You can charge everything on this card. Watch it not run. All right, give me a second. Decline. I'm sorry, man. The card was declined. <gasps> it happens sometimes, try again. Sorry, it was declined again. Well, your machine must be broken then. There's a lot more than $10,000 on this account. Are you sure about that? Yes, my father's loaded. I mean, yes, I'm sure. Can you try one more time, please? Oh my gosh, all right. This is awkward. Sorry, I'm afraid you won't be able to help your friend. Seriously? Is there a problem here? The lady wants to post bail for her friend, but she's broke. What? I know she did not just call me broke. What? No, I'm not broke. Sheriff, my dad gave me his card. You know him, you know I can pay $10,000. I know that, Miss Powell, but there's apparently a problem. And your dad is in a coma. We can't just ask him. So you should talk to whoever's handling his business. Maybe his lawyer? Not that guy again. Oh my, his lawyer. Of course he's behind this. I know exactly why I can't use my card. Cause he, he locked the account. What happened? Where's Malcolm? I can't bail him out. My card was declined. What? Why would it get declined? Because Raymond Parker is trying to fuck me over. Drive me back to the hotel. I need to talk to him. Oh, uh, he put a he put a hold on my car. Hey, excuse me. Do you know where Raymond Parker is right now? Miss Powell, I, I think he's at the party. The party? Wh which party? Uh, he's hosted a party in the Powell Suite. In the Powell Suite? Who let him in there? Everyone knows that the penthouse suite belongs to my father. I'm sorry. He didn't ask. He's in charge now. All right, thanks for telling me. I now have a party to crash. I don't, I don't play these. I don't play these games and neither does Summer and I love that. Good evening, ma'am. Can you show me your invite? My face is my invite. Right. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Mr. Parker, open up. We need to talk. Ma'am, you need to calm down. I need to calm down? I am perfectly as calm as I could be. I am perfectly calm, sir. Open up, Parker. Ah. Uh, uh, is there a problem out here? This woman tried to break in. Break in? Are you kidding me? This is my home. I grew up here. It's okay, you can let her in. I know her. I don't care about the damn party, Ray. I have to talk to your father. Summer, what are you doing here? Mr. Parker, did you freeze my father's accounts? I did, for safety reasons. This way, no one will be able to take advantage of his money. And any transaction has to be approved by me. <gasps> and why didn't you tell me? I need money to bail a friend out of jail. He's being wrongly accused of shooting my dad. I'm sure the police had good reasons to arrest him. And now that they found the man who did this, maybe our guests will feel safer and come back. Wait, you want to sweep this under the rug? You don't care about who they accuse as long as it's over. I can't stand this man. He's got to go. Phantom, come get somebody. I got somebody for you. Why should I care? I'm running a hotel, not a charity. Look at you. Your true colors are finally showing, Parker. You took control of my father's wealth and his hotel. That's exactly what you wanted. You're a crook, like all the others. All right, I've heard enough from you. Guard, can you show Miss Powell out? She's trespassing on private property. Private? This is my property, sir. Private property? You're kidding me, right? This is my property. Escort her out now. Parker, you piece of, let's go, ma'am. Are you kidding? Don't you dare, don't touch me. Get your hands off me, let me down. Not picking her up. Oh, and when I said escort her out, I'm in out of this hotel. And don't let her get back in. From this moment on, she is banned from the Powell Tower. <laughs>
Understood, sir. You can't do that. You will pay for this, you asshole. You will regret it. Have a good night sleeping outside with no money, Miss Powell. This isn't over. I'm gonna get you, old fucker. Damn. Let me back in right now. This hotel's my home. <gasps> oh, I'm going to the police. He pushed me. You can't do this. You can't just steal my family's hotel. I will fight you, Raymond Parker. You started a war. Get Phantom on the phone. We got some killing to do. That sounded crazy, but to be continued. Yeah, it's gonna be continued when I fight his ass. I, I can't believe it, y'all. He done froze my account. I don't got no money. He done kicked me out the hotel. I don't got no home. Lee, Byron, Zachariah, can I come over? Will they let me? Oh my God, we, we fucked y'all. But if you wanna see more episodes, make sure you are subscribed, you like this video, and you share this video, and you pre-save my new song because it comes out on the 15th. And the more pre-saves we get, the more episodes you get. We looking at the pre-saves like, okay. Okay, because y'all killing it right now. Keep it up. And check out the merch too while you're at it. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step. Let's talk about what just happened, because what?